everybody, it's Marion from Life Unboxed, and today is Mask Monday. And yes, I'm finally up to getting a Mask Monday done for a change. So, I have all my uh, stuff handy here. I got my big old pink bow. I have my Sabella cleansers. My daughter's going to be happy about that because I've I ordered them and then I just never used them. And also, my Sabella... Um, what is that? Mice, micellar water. So I'm going to use some of that too. My face has already been washed, but I'm just going to go over it with these Sabella uh, wipes. So if you're new to my channel, I welcome you. It's always great to have new subscribers. And um, welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy the videos. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell. And you'll be notified when I upload another video. And to my tried and trues, love having you always. All right, let's wash this off here. Or whatever I have on here from the night. And it's um, starting to get nice and bright and sunny out today. It's nice and cool. The high is going to go is in the 70s. So what? That's good. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to show you a close-up of my eyebrows. There they are. So they're going to be quite a bit different on my in my next video, which will be probably Wednesday, because I am going to have the micro uh, microblading to my eyebrows, and um, that's about a three hour three to four hour process so that's what I'm doing okay and I am gonna videotape it if she'll let me so okay I got my mirror here I got my towel dry up and we are using today I'm going to torture myself once again as you know I do that frequently when I say I'm never going to use a peel off mask again six or eight weeks later I do so this is Freeman French pink clay peel off pore clean clearing um, mask so smooth skin for glowing complexion three to four uses all right, we'll see exactly how that works. So, um, as you know, that we're in our home away from home, Florida, in a one of our favorite campsites, and um, Nate has been down and out with the uh, gout, but he's getting better, which is good. Because when you get the gout, you know, he hardly has, uh, can hardly walk because it, it is so painful with that, with one, even if it's just in one foot, which God only, God help us if it was ever in two feet at the same time, that would be disastrous. But anyway, um, he's better. He's taken the medicine that causes stomach ga gastro, gastro, uh, situations. So, um... We are glad that that's uh, becoming under control, too. Because you know you can't go out of the house when that occurs. So, that's better. It's resolving. So, let's hope that this thing peels off gently. And if it doesn't, oh well. I'll probably never use it again, again, for six or eight weeks. <laughs> It says here that it gives two to four uh, applications, so let's hope it does. Yeah, so my eyebrows, my f facial features are probably going to look a lot different the next time you see me on video. So let's hope it's all for the good. And I think I'm putting it on a little bit thicker because I want it to peel off a little easier. 
So today we're going out to visit my, well not visit him, but to stop at his house to pick up my packages. So I'll be able to do some unboxings here while we're in Florida. And um, that's exciting because I haven't done one of those in a long time. We had such a great time visiting with um, Sheila from Inside Beauty with the Old Girl and her husband Dave um, when we were in <coughs> South Carolina. And um, also with um, Ollie, uh, Retired Life Ollie Style, and who is Everett and Dawn, and they live um, in South Carolina also in the exact same area that we were in so that was very exciting and what else um i was gonna say something else and now i can't remember what um so yeah we're here in florida and um gonna visit my kids maybe you know they're so independent these days that they don't care if they see their mom or not <laughs> But at least we visited, uh, we had a good visit with Patrick when we were in um, Tennessee. What else was I going to say? Um, I think that's it for now. All right, I'm going to let this dry, and then um, I'll be back. And we'll have another chat, if I can remember what I wanted to say. Okay, I'm still letting this dry, but I remembered what I wanted to say um, before I clicked off, and that is I've been sending out postcards. Now, I'm sending out postcards to those who wanted them, um, and so if you all don't want them anymore, please let me know, and I'll stop sending them. But we had some Georgia cards left over, so I sent a bunch of them out that hadn't received a Georgia card yet. So... Um, I don't remember who y'all are, but I hope you um, enjoy them. And now I've got some Florida cards that um, I had. I got from our camp office. Some I'll show you what they look like. And this is truly what Florida looks like at its best. This is most likely Key West, but we do have some beautiful, beautiful um, sunshine sun sets. Of course, I'm never up for a sunrise, <laughs> but one of these days I will be. Um, this is Florida Key Lime Pie. So, and this is Casey Key, which is close to where we are. And then I got the bigger ones. The Manatee. The Florida Gentle Giant, they call them. And then uh, the Dolphins. I'd like to go swimming with the dolphins while we're here. And then we have uh, Florida, the map. And then another map of Sarasota. We're very close to here. And then another one. Oh, yeah. I like this one. You and me. <laughs> That's mean, I know. And then uh, Florida treasures, all the pretty um, shells. And then just different pictures of the Florida, of the of Florida, the, yeah. Um, and then this one, St. Armand <laughs> Circle. No, St. Armand Circle is really for the rich and famous. But you can always go there and just walk around because it's really, really pretty. All the shops are very boutique-ish. And they have ice cream shops and coffee shops and... Not star well, they have Starbucks, but they have local coffee shops too. So, speaking of coffee, um, Nate's friends from um, the Netherlands has a package for us at Nate's mom's house, and in it has some coffee from the Netherlands. I cannot wait to try that. And I know Nate's had it before, but I've never had it, so hopefully, um, 
we'll get mom when she's feeling better to um, mail it out to us and that we can get it here and have some have some Netherlands coffee can't wait all right well this is still drying so I'm gonna um, relax for a few minutes I'll be right back okay so while I'm thinking about it back to the brows these brows have been dyed um, and as you can see right in here they've already the, the dye is already gone because there's not many hairs right there and over here you can see also so this is going to be a totally different look you know eyebrows make or break your your face your look so um and they say that the eyebrow should start right here right in conjunction or in line with your inner corner of your eye that's where they should start and mine is way over way way over when I draw my own brows on I come over here to make them even with this sometimes I do not always but because of all the um, razor blading I took to my eyebrows and tweezing they are just pretty much non-existent and they're so white so we'll see how this does on when we have this done in a few days stay tuned all right um let's see if we can get this well this is still wet down here but yeah I'm going to start over here, maybe. It's always a hard thing to get this started. And I know I said I was never going to do it again, but I figured I'd give it a chance. I don't want to throw these away, and I don't want to give them away because they've already been used, pretty much. So, yeah, I don't think this is going to come off easy I think I'll let it dry a little bit more I'll be back okay this has been long enough and I started peeling so so far it's not too bad it's coming off nicely and you can feel the sting so it's going to be a nice exfoliation for sure. It's not terribly painful, but you can definitely feel it coming off. But I think it's going to be nice getting all those dead skin cells off without doing any kind of a, um, what you call it, um, hydrolaric acid or any of those. And I'm not supposed to do that for a couple of days before I go have the microblading done. So, all right, let's see. All right, well, it looks like this is going to take a little while. Well, maybe not. Let's just continue on. And, uh,. Uh, I almost got my husband to do a live today, but we both forgot about it. Anyway. Oh, yeah. That's peeling nicely. And some of it's not even dry yet and it's been over 20 minutes so but look at how that's leaving my skin nice and soft all right i'm going to do this off camera and i will be back when i get this all off Okay, so I finally got that off and it was a little bit difficult. Some of it was not dry yet, even though I had it on for almost 25 minutes. And the, some of it I had to just like rub to get it off. So, be, if you do use this, 
don't do it under your eyes because that's very tender under there and that hurts and um, it was pretty um, it wasn't painful to get off except in the tender areas like uh, right through here and uh, right through here so otherwise it was okay it was just okay I'm gonna go and wash the rest off and um, get ready for the day so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did, please give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little uh, bell where you'll be notified when I upload another video. And don't forget, we have uh, another channel, Nathan and I, Romancing the States, and that's where we uh, do our travel videos, and we talk, and we unbox things that we get for the RV, and we'll probably be doing that soon because we got our new lawn chairs. Yes, so... That's going to be coming up in a future video for Romancing the States. And that, that, that Nate guy on YouTube, he does Halloween videos. Don't forget to go check him out too. All right, I'm going to go now. Don't forget to be kind to each other. It's a rough world out there. The next video see for me is going to be the microblading. Stay tuned. I love you all. Bye, guys.